Hi, this is Joy at Red Pen Quilt Shop. Today we're going to talk about the Acorn E-Sprayer. This is a product that is rechargeable and it will automatically spray your Easy Press fabric treatment. So it's designed for the Easy Press fabric treatment, which is a starch alternative spray. And it is a great option for anybody who has arthritis, carpal tunnel, any issues with their hand and wrist, because you don't have to keep pumping it like you do a normal mister. Um, this one just simply has an on off button and you turn it on and let it run, turn it off when you're done. So especially when you're prepping big pieces of fabric, it's nice to not have to keep on pumping the mister. So um, when you get a brand new one of these, the first thing that you want to do is you want to charge it. There is a little opening on the back. It comes with a charging cable. You'll go ahead and plug in there, plug this in into a USB port, and you'll want to get it fully charged. The first charge, it can take up to three to four hours. I found that the charges actually last for a long time, um, so I don't have to recharge very often, um, but definitely get it fully charged. When you first plug it in, it is going to be red. There's a little indicator that's gonna to start to glow here that's red. When it's fully charged, it'll turn to green. And when you are actually using the sprayer and it's turned on, that little indicator light will be blue. So you wanna take when you first get a new one and load it up with water because you want to play with the adjustment and figure out how to run the sprayer and how to adjust your mist setting um, and get it to a spot you like it and it's better to do that with water so if you're spraying it around you're not wasting um, good fabric treatment spray so load it up with water at first you want to make sure that you don't run the device with it dry um, it's important that it's always got liquid in it and when you're using the sprayer you want to have it at a 45 degree angle um, a lot of people have tried to use the sprayer with it straight up. Not going to work right that way. It needs to be at a 45 degree angle, which when you're misting fabric on your pressing table, that should be about the angle that you will hold it at just naturally. Um, you're, it's more an issue of having it straight up when you're trying to get your settings adjusted. So on the front of the sprayer, um, there is an adjustment that you can turn. So you can turn this back and forth um, to adjust how much spray you want. And that is your adjustment. To turn it on, I'm just gonna get away from my, I don't wanna get my, my foam core here wet. To turn it on, you use the trigger button. So you simply hit the trigger button to turn it on, hit the trigger button to turn it off, and if you have any issues with it clogging, you can actually use the slower button and that will put kind of a big stream of fluid through to try to flush out anything that's clogging in the nozzle. So on and off on the top and that's your cleaning button. Now you will find if you don't use the sprayer for a long period of time that your starch alternative spray is going to dry in the nozzle and it's designed to dry and stiffen so um, if it dries in your nozzle it will probably clog your nozzle. It has a very very fine pinpoint nozzle so that it can give you a nice fine mist. So to unclog the sprayer when your nozzle gets clogged first thing you want to do is to hold this under warm water. Don't run the whole thing under water just the tip but hold that tip under hot running water and see if you can actually just get that um, starch that's right in there to dissolve and flush out. So that's the first thing is to just run the tip underwater. Um, if that is not doing the trick, you can take it off completely. So I can unscrew it completely. Um, I can take and rinse it well in the sink if I want to. Um, I can put a pin in to unclog it. And there is one more part here that I wanna show you because a lot of people don't realize there's one more piece that can come out and that is this little guy. And again, you can put a fine pin inside to clean it. If there's any kind of a clog inside, you can put a fine pin in to clean it. And then this simply pushes straight back in. It doesn't turn, it actually has an O-ring. It just pushes straight back in push it straight back in, and then go ahead and put the outer nozzle back on, and that will get your sprayer cleaned out um, if it's sat for a while and has gotten clogged. So that is how to use the new 
um, Easy Sprayer, the, the Easy E Sprayer from Acorn Products. We like to put um, the Acorn Products um, Easy Press Fabric Treatment in it. That is my favorite starch alternative spray. And you can find these items on our website at www.redpinequiltshop.com. Thanks for joining us.